Oh, mine now. Hello, sunshines, and welcome to Two Days Play Undertale by Toby Fox. I'm DeValiente, and I'm playing with my friend Bon, whose channel you can follow in the link in the description below. Though Bon has played this game before, I have not, so I'm in the driver's seat this time. Warning. This video contains strong language and graphic imagery. Discretion is advised. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Oh, oops. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought you might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. <laughs> Here, I have another surprise for you. Alright, well I'm going to explore first. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Either because of boredom or other things. Inside this old calendar from the beginning of da 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 da. Oh, this is a cute So box. cozy. Yeah, it's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier fear and fearful for further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the heaven's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. <laughs> as great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> Love your BBC uh, narrator voice. Oh, thank you. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. The stovetop is very clean. Turiel must use fire magic instead. Or she's just very cleanly. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Listen. <laughs> I keep brand name chocolate bars for reasons. Is the weird part that it's a brand name chocolate fo uh, bar in the fridge or that it's brand name? Um, I mean, people keep, st keep chocolate bars in their fridge. I personally don't like cold chocolate, mm. but uh, there are people out there who like put Snicker bars in the freezer and stuff. So that's why I don't like um, those like ice cream bars that are dipped in the the hard chocolate. I hate that. So I don't. I'm not one of those people that puts their chocolate in the freezer. Yeah. This is it. A room Very of your cute. own. I hope you like it. Very cute how mm -hmm. she, like, guides you by the hand yeah. and pets your head. Is something burning? Hmm. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Just runs off. Uh, you I have... think she's embarrassed. Yeah. Plant before, but do not know its name. It was flowy, right? <laughs> uh, okay. So that must be Toriel's... Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Oh, that's pretty cool. You have seen this time. Cook, cook, cook. Hi. How are you? What's going on? Can you interact with it? It's you! <laughs> Room under renovations. Oh, are we getting a sister? <laughs> this must be Toriel's room. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled pages. Passage? Yes. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <laughs> it's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants you open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. I sure I hope not. <laughs> but it's interesting that she has those yellow plants. Yeah. Truly the most sun, uh, sundary of there plants. Yeah. Yeah. Can you look in her drawers? You peek inside. Scandalous. <laughs> it's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I can't reach the... Uh, where's X? we look in garbages in this game? I can't remember. I don't know. I feel like Just they a would, regular old yes. bucket. Yeah. Of snails. <laughs> Just a regular old bucket of snails. This is atrocious. 
<laughs> this color. Yeah, the colors. <laughs> it actually reminds me of old Game Boy games. Yeah. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I can't even look at my own cabinet. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Aww. A box of kid shoes and a, in <laughs> a disparity of sizes. Toriel? Mom? Uh, the fuck? <laughs> Why do we have a million... This is better. I like this. Why do we have, like, a billion some odd pairs of shoes? Cake! <laughs> Butterscotch you found a pie. <laughs> butterscotch cinnamon pie. <laughs> just repeatedly sleep. I mean, that's what you, I do. <laughs> you just go into a coma for a week, and she's like, "Wow, I hope this kid's okay." Yeah, it's just a. Uh... Is mom in here? No, mom's not in here. <laughs> Okay, what's down here? Doop -doo -doo. The base. So I say this, yeah. I think you should play upstairs instead. <laughs> okay, I should play this what? Yeah, you have to continue to interact. Okay. Oh, she has little glasses. Up already, I see. Hmm. I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Ooh. What? Th this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. <laughs> how about it? Uh, how? <laughs> Dang. Uh, um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have chainsaw-like tongues called a radula? Interesting. How to exit the ruins, mother? I have to do something. Stay here. Seems like the right size for Toriel. Okay, I didn't interact. I didn't interact with fire either. Fire! Fire! <laughs> the fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. It's okay, obviously I... a magic fire. Yeah, my whole body inside? Hey, look, more pie. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Okay. Alright, we can't do much here. Toriel seems very lonely. Yeah. And also very protective. Yeah, also like the whole uh, kidnapping kids and keeping them in their fucking ruins for the rest of her life. Well, it's hmm. it, you have to ask yourself, is yeah. she kidnapping you, or is there something else going on? Yeah. Alright, she's- oh, god, that room is atrocious. <laughs> you hate it so much. This, the color is so bad. Hey, You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Hey, uh... How about no? Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. 
just gonna keep disobeying mom cow. You want to leave so badly. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Is she a boss? <laughs> Toriel blocks the way. Act. Toriel. Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Sweet. Oh, hi. Uh, Toriel is acting aloof. Uh, check. Toriel attack. 80! Knows what's best for you. Dang. Oh, okay. <laughs> Toriel prepares a magical attack. Yay! You try to think of something to say again, but... Toriel takes a deep breath. Toriel. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to the situation. <laughs> okay. Ow. Oh. Ow. Ow. Mom's gonna kill me! <laughs> um, actually, I don't think she will. Okay. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Uh, talk. Ironically. Okay. So if you can't talk, mm -hmm. and she doesn't want you to fight, what do you do? Uh... Do you notice that they're all missing oh, okay. you now? Toriel prepares a magical attack. I see. It's fair. Just keep keep doing what you were doing. Okay. That was the only thing that was getting okay. a reaction. I see. I mean, you can kill her technically, yeah. but attack or run away. But mom, we're doing <laughs> what you just yeah. taught us to. Toriel looks through you. Yep. What are you proving this way? That you taught as well? Yeah. Fight me or leave. Stop it. I mean, you could very easily stop this yourself, ma'am. Stop looking at me that way. Go away! <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Spare. Toriel takes a deep breath. Look at how sad she is. Yeah. She doesn't want to hurt anyone or hurt yeah. anyone's feelings. I know you want to go home, but... <sighs> Please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <sighs> the 
pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. <sighs> no, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. <laughs> Goodbye, my child. Didn't even look at her, dang. We're hardcore. Are you gonna give me like a safe spot or something? Why? Are you expecting to launch into a battle right after this? I mean, I only have two health left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking duck. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you're tired of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? Let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Uh, just trample him. He's a fucking flower. There's so much, like... <laughs> there's so much story in play in that one bit of dialogue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, it, it basically sets up everything for the game. Okay. Okay, that was the game. Thanks for joining us, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all there is. Alright. Uh, yeah, uh, like, follow, ring the notification bell. Our uh, links to subscribe to us are down below. <laughs> That's the game everyone was so excited to play when it came out. Yep. Love that for me. Can I get the stick? Stick. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. How dare you? You're like, how dare you assume how strong I am? I heard something. I am full of determination. Fuck. Oh, look. Look, dude, I don't have time for this shit. Apparently, I'm like the queen of this world. You, man. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Is this Sans? Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. <laughs> Anyways, you're a human, right? <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on the watch for humans right now, but, uh, you know, 
I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus, huh, he's an asshole. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. <laughs> I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the, the bars too wide to stop anyone. <laughs> that's a lamp. <laughs> Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Wow. Well. Sup, bro? You know what, sup, bro? It's been f eight days and you still haven't re recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station! What are you even doing? <laughs> Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect, recognition, I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard! People will ask to be my friend! Oh, I will bathe and shower of kisses every morning! Hum, maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, are you not helping your lazy- help- you are not helping you lazy bones! <laughs> All you do is sit and boondoggle. They, you get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done lately. Today. A skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid. <laughs> Sans. Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it! <laughs> so, <laughs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone! It's <laughs> the dumbest joke! <laughs> it's not even like the down to the bone part, it's the fucking rim shot at the end. <laughs> That's the stupidest joke! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> <laughs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for you, work. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> eh? <laughs> okay, you can come out now. That was the dumbest thing you have ever done in your entire life, and I had to witness it. <laughs> You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, uh, you will have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. I want to know what these two balls are about. I think they're just boulders. Okay. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. So it's like a hot dog stand, but for sans. Actually, hey! I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never been seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Yeah, look at that. The convenience of that lamp <laughs> still fills you with determination. <laughs> I love that he's like, I'll be up ahead, and he goes the opposite yeah. way. Oh, it looks like a treasure chest. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an out an item. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. <laughs> Use the box? Sure. Uh... There's already something in the box! Yeah, I'm gonna take that out. You can probably put the bandage away. Okay. Use the box, yes. Okay. Um I've already forgotten how to <laughs> You know, you haven't used info on any of these. Why should I? <laughs> you have no idea which is better. Oh my god, do you when you play do you play RPGs at all? I do. So you don't, like, check the stats of things to see which is better? I mean, I only have the one glove and the one ribbon, okay? 
So, like you're just making the assumption that it's better. Yeah. Okay. So that so the the donut healed like twelve, right? And this one heals yes. twenty four. So that's what I assumed because the donut was seven gold and this was eighteen gold. So I knew that okay. was gonna be better. Okay. And so what about like the tough glove? The tough glove. I only have one pair of gloves. Yeah, but it got rid of your stick, so it's not actually defense, it's a weapon. But I didn't have a stick. I had a stick? Yes, yeah. I didn't even that notice was, I had a stick. That was your weapon, because you had it equipped. You notice that the things you have equipped don't show up? Because you also have the ribbon that showed up. See? Look! Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to know this shit? My shit hacking. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much effort. Listen, there's a reason why I play like a tank in video games, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I just fucking love that you're assuming that whatever you get is just automatically better than the prior thing, and you have no genuine idea if that's true or not. I don't want to use the box. Hold on. Okay, so let's look at this toy knife, right? Mm hmm. Toy knife, weapon at three, made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. Okay. So if we go back to. It's not even letting me. Yeah, your attack is currently at five with the tough glove. Okay, so. It would go down with the toy knife. Correct. And it would go further down with the stick because that was your starting item. Yeah. So I made the right choice anyway. But why is a glove a weapon? <laughs> Do I just like. <laughs> well, think about like Tifa. Tifa punches things in Final Fantasy VII, so Fuck. a lot of her weapons are gloves. Can Did I you just eat the pie? Maybe. Thank you for joining us for today's play Undertale by Toby Fox. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, a follow, and ring that notification bell so you know when the new episode drops. Let's keep the comments chill so no hate or spoilers, as we're not above removing those comments and the people who make them. That's all for now, folks, and we'll see you next time.